Hi everybody, my name is Mustafa Petriwala and I am working as a lead performance engineer at Impetus Technologies. Today, I would like to talk about performance unit testing methodologies. Performance is an important part of software development. An application that doesn't perform well is not expected to succeed. Performance not only affects customer satisfaction but also business revenue. This methodology is an answer to all the pitfalls of traditional approach to performance testing. As you all are aware that traditional approach suffers with lots of drawbacks. It starts at the end towards the end of the development cycle and has very little time to complete. If any defects are identified at this particular point of time, it involves higher cost and efforts to fix those. Problem aggravates if there are any design or architectural changes. Now, let's talk about what are performance unit tests. Performance unit test refers to the test scripts that are created by the development team in order to test their code for performance and scalability. The development team creates tests to measure the code's performance that they are working on. These test scripts serve as an indicator about the performance of the code. The development team can use this as a tool to verify the code optimizations and refactoring changes in the code base. Also, it can be used to track the performance of code when new features are added to the existing build. Now, we would talk about what are the benefits of performance unit tests offers lots of benefit over the traditional approach. It makes sure that performance testing starts earlier in the development cycle. It helps in early identification of performance bottlenecks and these defects can be fixed at a low cost and efforts. The end product is highly perf high performing and scalable. This approach works well with both agile and test driven methodologies that are rapidly gaining ground in software development. Also, the test scripts created during the development phase can be reused later for a full blown load testing in the staging or testing environments. This saves the cost of the testing uh, cost and efforts of the testing team at a later stage in development cycle. Now, the question arises how can we create performance unit test? Are there any tools that can help us? So let's look at a couple of those tools that can help us within this activity. Performance unit tests can be created from the developer's IDE. It has been observed that developers spend most of their time working with their editors. Hence, a tool that can help them creating performance test scripts and measure performance within that editor can be used easily. Tools like Solex and Performance Workbench are for this purpose. It is recommended that the PLSQL code or all critical methods should be tested for performance before delivery. Another way of doing performance unit tests are to use existing JUnits as performance units. Frameworks like JUnitPerf and PUnit can help us in this activity. This helps us in using the existing scripts and there is no need to create new performance test scripts. It saves lots of effort in managing and creating new test scripts. These performance units can be integrated with any build automation tool like Ant and Maven and can be scheduled to run on a weekly or nightly basis as and when the build is produced. Also, same can be integrated with automated profiling options of JPro or JProfiler to save CPU and memory hotspots for each and every release for each critical method. This helps us in keeping track of the performance for each and every release and avoid any surprises towards the end of the development cycle. Next, we will walk you through a couple of sample performance test scripts that are created using both the approaches as mentioned. The 
first one is a test script that is recorded from the Eclipse editor. It covers an end-to-end -end business scenario. The script can be recorded from the editor and it displays all the requests and responses. It can be executed with multiple users and can isolate the request that takes most of the time for execution. This request can then be mapped to the method calls that are actually responsible for the high response times. Next, let's like to look at an example of a J unit being used as per unit. This J unit is configured to run with 10 users and an SLA of 1.5 seconds has been defined. If this SLA is not met, the unit would be marked as failed and the corresponding report can be generated. Using P units, the development team can create a suite of performance tests that can run on each and every build and can keep a track of performance on these builds. This helps in delivering a high performing and scalable product towards the end. In case you have any questions related to the methodology or the tools or best practices, please write to me at mbatriwala at impetus.co.in. You can also visit our website at impetus.com slash plabs. I would like to thank you all for listening patiently to my talk and giving me an opportunity to speak in front of you. Thank you and have a good day.